lesson 318 in A Course in Miracles. In me, salvation's means and end are one. In me, God's holy Son, are reconciled all parts of heaven's plan to save the world. What could conflict when all the parts have but one purpose and one aim? How could there be a single part that stands alone or one of more or less importance than the rest? I am the means by which God's Son is saved because salvation's purpose is to find the sinlessness that God has placed in me. I was created as the thing I seek. I am the goal the world is searching for. I am God's Son, His one eternal love. I am salvation's means and end as well. Let me today, my Father, take the role you offer me in your request that I accept atonement for myself. For thus does what is thereby reconciled in me become as surely reconciled to you. In me, salvation's means and end are one. In me, God's Holy Son, are reconciled all parts of heaven's plan to save the world. What could conflict when all the parts have but one purpose and one aim? How could there be a single part that stands alone? or one of more or less importance than the rest. I am the means by which God's Son is saved. Because salvation's purpose is to find the sinlessness that God has placed in me.
I was created as the thing I seek. I am the goal the world is searching for. I am God's son. His one eternal love. I am salvation's means and end as well. Let me today, my father, take the role you offer me in your request that I accept atonement for myself. For thus does what is thereby reconciled in me become as surely reconciled to you.
In me, salvation's means and end are one. I am salvation's means in that I help bring salvation about through my special function. I am salvation's end because the goal of salvation is to find the sinlessness that God has placed in me and in all of us.